All the single stream recycling collected in the city comes here to be separated, baled, and then sold as a raw material to be made into something new. Here's a quick look at how the recycling center works. Columbus Consolidated Government Recycling Trucks collect recyclable materials from curbside bins and bring them to the recycling center. The trucks dump all the materials onto the sorting floor, except for glass, which is separated. A tractor pushes the materials into a large pile, and then a small skid steer loader takes from the pile and dumps the materials onto the first conveyor. The first conveyor moves at a slow speed as it feeds recyclables into the sorting system. Conveyor 1 drops the materials onto conveyor 2, which runs at a higher speed, helping to spread the materials out, making them easier to sort by hand. Conveyor 2 is called pre-sort, where the staff pulls out plastic bags, large plastic containers, wood, and anything else that needs to be prevented from going through the rest of the system. These materials are dropped into three separate bunkers below the conveyor. From pre-sort, recyclables feed onto the two deck disc screens. Deck 1 allows anything 5 inches and smaller to fall through, which is primarily aluminum cans, plastic bottles, steel containers, and some mixed paper. Deck 2 allows anything greater than 5 inches to fall through, which is primarily mixed paper and large plastic containers and bottles. Because they are both wide and flat, pieces of corrugated cardboard climb up both sections of the screen and are deposited onto the loading floor for baling. The materials smaller than 5 inches that fell through the deck 1 screen drop onto conveyor number 4 and are transported to the commodity sort line. The materials larger than 5 inches that fell through the deck 2 screen drop onto conveyor number 5 and are transported to the quality control sort line. Once they've made the trip up conveyor 4, the recyclables are fed onto the commodity sort line conveyor. The hand sorters on the line separate the number 1 plastic, or PET, number 2 plastic, or HDPE, and mixed plastics, numbers 3, 5, 6, and 7. Each separated material is dropped into a separate bunker below the sort line platform. Following the hand sorters, a cross belt magnet is suspended over the commodity conveyor. The cross belt magnet rotates across the top of the material stream. The powerful magnet lifts steel containers right off the conveyor and drops them into a bunker below the sort platform. The eddy current is the last sorting mechanism on the commodity sort line. The eddy current uses a charged polarity field to flip aluminum containers across a divider into their own bunker below the sort platform, while allowing mixed paper, the only other remaining material in the sorted stream, to drop onto the final section of conveyor to be piled on the loading floor. Back at the two deck screen, the materials that fell through deck number two are carried up conveyor five and dropped onto the quality control line. This stream is mostly mixed paper, but the quality control sorters check for any non-paper materials, plastic, steel, or aluminum that slipped past the first screen. At the end of the quality control sort line, the mixed paper drops onto the same conveyor receiving paper from the eddy current. This final conveyor piles the combined mixed paper streams onto the loading floor to be baled. The loading floor is equipped with a special in-ground conveyor that feeds the baler. The separate commodity bunkers open onto this floor conveyor, and the corrugated cardboard and mixed paper are pushed to the floor conveyor with a small loader. One at a time, the commodities are fed into the baler. The baler compresses the material into a tight block, secured with wire straps. Once baled, recyclables are ready to be sold, shipped to a manufacturer, and made into a new product. With the many steps of the separation process, and a lot of help from human hands, the Columbus Recycling Center helps recyclable commodities on their way to becoming new products. But the center can only work when you separate your recyclables at home. Sending it to the center, 
That's just another easy way to be green. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. For more information about recycling in Columbus or to visit the Recycling and Sustainability Center, visit our website at columbusga.org. And to request your recycling container, call 311.